wenn wir dann kommen. Was ist mit einem Gebet? Ja. Heavenly Father. Lieber himmlischer Vater. We thank you for this morning. Wir danken dir für diesen Morgen, dass wir hier wieder zusammen sein können. Dass wir dein goldenes Öl erhalten können, das es uns an diesem Tag unterstützt. Und ich bete, dass du uns hilfst, dass wir in der Lage sind zu folgen und dass wir alles verstehen können. Und mache uns weise durch die Wahrheit. Ich danke dir und bitte in Jesu Namen. Amen. Okay, so yesterday we were looking at this um, this period here the seventh plague. Gestern haben wir uns diese Zeitspanne der siebten Plage angeschaut. But specifically, we come down to the end where the seventh trumpet, third war, uh, begins to sound. Aber spezifisch ähm, sind wir zum Ende gekommen, wo eben die siebte Posaune oder die dritte Wehe anfängt zu posaunen. Okay, and it's where the destroying angel is going to do his, his The Lord's going to allow the destroying angel to do his work. Da wird der Herr erlauben, dem zerstörerischen Engel sein Werk zu tun. But we know that the Lord demonstrates the end by the beginning, right? Wir wissen, dass der Herr das Ende vom Anfang an darstellt. And we've been looking at this through several different uh, things now about this repeating pattern or this repeating cycle. Und das haben wir uns ähm, durch verschiedene Dinge angeschaut und durch dieses ähm, sich wiederholende Muster oder dieses sich wiederholende Kreislauf. Okay, so you have from the beginning it brings you to the end. Also von dem Anfang bringt ihr uns zum Ende. And then the beginning starts at the same point the end ends. Und da fängt der Anfang an demselben Punkt an, wo das Ende endet. Okay, and so I just want to um, Because we, we, yesterday we were looking at the end of the, the trumpets, right? Gestern haben wir uns das Ende der Posaune angeschaut. I just want you to make sure we have this in our mind, that at the same time the trumpets end, they also mark the beginning, right? Ich möchte, dass wir das im Verstand behalten, dass zur selben Zeit, wo die Posaunen enden, da fangen sie auch wieder an. So it ends with the third war and it begins With the first four trumpets. Es endet mit der dritten Wehe, aber es fängt mit den ersten vier Posaunen an. So, I want to um, just remind us about these four trumpets this morning. Und ich möchte uns heute Morgen an diese vier Posaunen erinnern. And I want us to, to have it sure in our mind that these first four trumpets represent the four winds being loosed here. Ich möchte, dass wir dann sicher um, sind in unserem Verstand, dass diese ersten vier Posaunen hier gelöst werden. Because the <coughs> four winds, four also, winds vier Posaunen, diese vier Winde sind, die gelöst werden. What did you say? I just said the trumpet. Oh, okay, okay. The four, the four winds, right? So, um, the point is, it's, it's all about our faith, right? Der Punkt ist, es geht immer um unseren Glauben. Okay, if we don't, if we don't believe the prophets, we won't be established. Wenn wir den Propheten nicht glauben, dann werden wir nicht etabliert werden. Okay, anyway, let's begin. Go to, go to Revelation 7. Lass uns anfangen, gehen wir zur Offenbarung 7. In verses 1 to 3. Verse 1 bis 3. It says, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Right, so Lawrence was just dealing with the four cherubims over the last few days, right? And Lawrence had über diese vier Cherubim um, hat sie behandelt über die letzten paar Tage. Okay, and they're holding these evil powers in check, right? Sie halten diese bösen Mächte in Schach. 
And it says that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And right? And these are all symbols, right? Und das sind alles Because it says, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads. Right? So we know that that uh, marks the beginning of the Sunday law. Right? Wir wissen, dass es den Anfang des Sonntagsgesetzes markiert. But we also know that it, it again marks this point here, right? Wir wissen auch, dass es wieder diesen Punkt hier markiert. Okay, because this is the last chance people have to be sealed. Weil right? das ist diese letzte Möglichkeit, dass Leute versiegelt werden können. Okay, so they have a command to hurt not the earth, the sea, nor the trees. Right? Also ihnen wird ein Befehl gegeben, dass sie nicht die Erde, das Meer, noch die Bäume schädigen. And that command, as we said, is, is marking here, the, the, the The nations are held in check so as not to prevent the work of the third angel. Right? And at the same point, okay, these woes are also commanded. Right? Because it says in Revelation 9 and verse 4, And it was commanded them that they should not help the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree. Okay, so th these Revelation 7, Revelation 9, 4, both marking the same point. Right? Okay, just r remind you, go to Daniel 7. In Daniel 7 is an illustration of the Sunday law, right? Daniel 7 is an illustration of the Sunday law. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so verse 1 it says, verse in, The first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his bed, and he wrote the dream and told the son of the mothers. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea. What are the four winds doing? Was tun die vier Winde? Striving on the sea, Sie right? Streben auf dem Meer. So we've just read that they're to hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, right? Wir haben gerade gelesen, sie sollen nicht die Erde noch die um, das Meer noch die Bäume schädigen. Okay, so we know that the Lord comes here at this point because this is this. The, This is this northern kingdom rising out of the sea, right? And we wissen that the Herr, um, the Lord comes to this point. This, okay, just the no, this is the northern kingdom rising out of the sea. Also, this is das um, nördliche Königreich, was aus dem Meer aufsteigt. Okay, and national apostasy brings national ruin. Und nationale Abfall bringt nationalen Ruin. Okay, so. Te Technically speaking, when they make the Sunday law here, the Lord should just pour out the seven last plagues, right? Also, technisch gesprochen, wenn sie das Sonntagsgesetz hier machen, dann äh, müsste der Herr jetzt die sieben letzten Plagen ausgießen. But we know that they are, the seven last plagues are, are given in measure here, right? Wir wissen, dass die sieben letzten Plagen im Maßen hier gefallen. Äh, Because he holds the winds, right? Weil Doesn't allow them to fully um, blow. Weil er die Winde hier hält, er erlaubt ihnen nicht, dass sie vollständig wehen. Okay, so the, 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 the four winds are striving upon the sea, but the Lord holds them in check, right? Also die vier Winde, sie äh, ja, streben über dem Meer, aber der Herr erhält sie in Schach. Okay, so, but when you get to the end, right, he's going to lose those four winds. Und wenn man zum Ende kommt, wird er die vier Winde lösen. Okay, just go to this... Next quote from six testimonies. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat von 6 T. It says the restraining spirit of God 
is even now being withdrawn from the world. Hurricanes, storms, tempests, fire and flood, disasters by sea and land follow each other in quick succession. Science seeks to explain all these, the signs thickening around us telling us of the near approach of the Son of God are attributed to any other than the true cause. Men cannot discern the sentinel angels restraining the four winds that they shall not blow until the servants of God are sealed. Right? So although the four winds are being held, what's happening? Also, obwohl die vier Winde gehalten werden, was geschieht? Sorry? No, that's not what I'm asking. I says, although they're being held, that's being restrained, what is happening? You said, you said, although they're blowing, what is happening? I said, they're being restrained. I, I didn't say that. No, I, no, I says, men cannot discern the center of angels restraining the four winds. So I says, so although they're being restrained, what is happening? Also, obwohl sie gezügelt werden, was geschieht? The what? They're blowing. Okay, like it's written in there. It says hurricanes, storms, tempests, fire and flood, disasters by sea and land. That's what's happening, right? Also, es steht hier hurricanes, um, Stürme, um, Sturmwinde, Feuer und Flut und Unglücke um, zu la bei Land und See, also Meer. Um, das geschieht eben dort. Are, 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 we, are we on the right page this morning? Look. The four, the four winds are told to restrain here, but although they're restrained, right, all these things are happening, right? Also die vier Winde, sie werden hier gezügelt, aber obwohl sie hier gezügelt sind, geschehen all, geschehen all diese Dinge. And it says here, man cannot discern the sentinel angels restraining the four winds, that they shall not blow until the servants of God are sealed. But when God shall bid his angels loose the winds, there will be such a scene of strife as no pen can picture. So although all these things are happening, right, it's just a little foretaste of what will happen when he loses those four winds, right? Also, obwohl all diese Dinge geschehen, ist das nur ein Vorgeschmack von dem, wenn die vier Winde gelöst werden. Okay, so this war in Ukraine, for instance, is just a little foretaste, right? Dieser Krieg in Ukraine zum Beispiel ist nur ein kleiner Vorgeschmack. Okay, all these tornadoes and hurricanes and forest fires and floods, they are just a little foretaste, right? Yeah, these tornadoes and hurricanes and um, the ganzen fluten and firebrände, this is alles, alles nur ein Vorgeschmack. Okay, it says, to those who are indifferent at this time, Christ's warning is, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. So, where's that message? What's it referring to? Auf was bezieht sich diese Botschaft? Who is it referring to? Auf wen bezieht sich das? Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. It's given to the Laodicean Church, but that's not what I'm asking. Who is it referring to? Also, das wird der Laodiceanischen Gemeinde gegeben, aber auf wen bezieht sich das? Okay, remember we did this. Who, who is the Laodicea? What does it represent? Lost sheep. Right, okay, the lost sheep, right? Those that do not know. Lost coin. Oh, the lost coin, sorry. Those that do not know their condition, right? Also, Laodicea is this verloren Münze and they wissen, kennen ihren Zustand nicht. Okay, so it's speaking about this time period, right? It spricht eben dann über diese Zeitspanne. It says, the figure. Of spewing out of his mouth means that he cannot offer up your prayers or your expressions of love to God. He cannot endorse your teaching of his word or your spiritual work in any wise. He cannot present your religious exercises with the request that grace be given you. Could the curtain be rolled back? Could you discern the purposes of God and the judgments that are about to fall upon a doomed world? Could you see your own attitude? You would fear and tremble for your own souls and for the souls of your fellow men. So, in this time period, who does the, the man with the writer's ink on put the seal upon? And in this Zeitspanne, auf wen setzt der Mann mit dem Schreibwerkzeug das Siegel? So, fear and tremble upon 
Ja, und für die Brüder. Also diejenigen, die für ihre eigenen Gräuel und die Gräuel ihrer Brüder seufzen und klagen. Okay, so there has to be a message that's brought there in order to wake up these people to their indifference so that they will do that work, right? Da muss eine Botschaft dort gebracht werden, um diejenigen aufzuwecken, die sorglos sind gleichgültig sind, damit sie dieses Werk tun. So it's really speaking about us. We need to be woken up that we would do that work, right? Und das spricht eigentlich über uns. Also wir müssen aufgeweckt werden, dass wir dieses Werk tun. It says earnest prayers of heart-rending anguish would go up to heaven. You would weep between the porch and the altar, confessing your spiritual blindness and backsliding. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, the elders, gather the children, let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. Let them say, spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach. Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting and weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him? Right? So this quote, right, is, first of all, talks about when those four winds are loose, there will be such a scene of strife as no pen can picture. Right? Also, this Zitat das spricht zunächst einmal über die vier Winde, wenn sie gelöst werden, dann wird so eine ähm, Szene des Streites sein, wie es kein Stift beschreiben kann. Okay, so we know here and here those four winds are held. Right? Wir wissen, dass hier und hier die vier Winde gehalten werden. So what's happening in here is just a foretaste of what will happen when they're loosed. Right? Was hier drin geschieht, ist nur ein Vorgeschmack von dem, was geschieht, wenn diese vier Winde hier am Ende gelöst werden. Okay, so we we what we're seeing right now is not is it's nothing really in comparison to what we're going to see when this event comes to pass. Was right? wir gerade jetzt sehen, das ist nichts im Vergleich zu dem, wenn ähm, was wir sehen werden, wenn dieses Ereignis stattfinden wird. So it says, if we could see right what was coming we would rend our hearts and not our garments right es sagt um, hier wenn wir sehen könnten was kommen wird dann würden wir unsere gewänder zerreißen äh, unsere herzen zerreißen und nicht unsere gewänder okay so next quote nächstes zitat it says the battle of armageddon will be fought and that day must find none of us sleeping Wide awake we must be as wise virgins having oil in our vessels with our lamps. The power of the Holy Ghost must be upon us and the captain of the Lord's host will stand at the head of the angels of heaven to direct the battle. Solemn events before us are yet to transpire. Trumpet after trumpet is to be sounded. Vile after vile poured out one after another upon the inhabitants of the earth. So what's she paralleling here? Was setzt sie hier parallel? The trumpets with the plagues, right? Die mit den plagues. We already read a quote where she says that marks the seven trumpets is typifying the, the seven last plagues, right? Wir haben schon mal ein Zitat gelesen, wo sie gesagt hat, dass die Posaunen die sieben letzten Plagen vorausschatten. Okay, and it says... So when you when you get to the end, right, we have the seventh trumpet sounded, right? Also wenn man zum Ende kommt, hat man die siebte Posaune, die geblasen wird. The third woe. Äh, die dritte Wehe. Which is the seven last plagues. Was die sieben letzten Plagen ist. But she talks about when you get here, what's to happen? Aber sie sagt, wenn man hier hinkommt, was soll geschehen? Trumpet after trumpet is to be sounded, right? Posaune nach Posaune soll ertönen. Because it's the beginning. Weil es ist right? der Anfang. The seven trumpets typify the seven last plagues, right? Die sieben Posaunen schatten die sieben Plagen voraus. So the seventh trumpet is the end. It's the seven plagues, which is where the trumpets 
will begin to pour out. Also right? die siebte Posaune ist das Ende. Um, <coughs> da sind die sieben Plagen und da ist auch wenn die sieben Posaunen wieder anfangen zu ertönen. Okay, it says scenes of stupendous interest are right upon us and these things will be sure indications of the presence of him who has directed in every aggressive movement who has accompanied the march of his cause through all the ages and who has graciously pledged himself to be with his people in all their conflicts to the end of the world. He will vindicate his truth. He will cause it to triumph. He is ready to supply his faithful ones with motives and power of purpose, inspiring them with the hope and courage and valor and increased activity as the time is at hand. So what's he willing to give us? So was ist er willig uns zu geben? Motives, power of purpose, and an inspiration and courage, right? Also Motive und äh, Kraft der äh, Absicht und ähm, er wird uns inspirieren mit Hoffnung und Mut. Because we read yesterday in uh, Second Chronicles 20:20 20, that if you don't believe, you won't be established. Weil right? wir haben gestern gelesen in 2. Chronik 20, Vers 20, dass wenn du nicht glaubst, wirst du nicht etabliert werden. Christ says, oh fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Und Christus right? sagt dir, törichten und langsames Herzens, alles zu glauben, was die Propheten gesprochen haben. So if we really believe this, right, really believe this, we will enter into this experience, right? Und wenn wir das wirklich glauben, dann werden wir in diese Erfahrung eintreten. Okay, so go to Revelation 8. Gehen wir zur Offenbarung 8. Verse 1. Vers 1. It says, And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. This is this sign and crime, right? Das dieses Seufzen und Klagen. And the smoke of the incense which came up with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it to the earth. Okay? And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. So he takes this censer and casts fire to the earth, right? Also er nimmt dieses Räuchergefäß und wirft Feuer auf die Erde. Okay, let's read this next quote. Lass uns dieses nächste Zitat lesen. I saw angels hurrying to and fro in heaven. An angel with a rider's ink on by his side returned from the earth and reported to Jesus that his work was done. And the saints were numbered and sealed. Then I saw Jesus, who had been ministering before the ark, containing the Ten Commandments, throw down the censer. He raised his hands and with a loud voice says, It is done. And all the angelic hosts laid off their crowns as Jesus made the solemn declaration. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. Right? So when he cast down that censer, right, the third woe pours out. Right? Also wenn er dieses Räuchergefäß runterwirft, dann wird die dritte Wehe ausgegossen. But as we read, the third war is the seven last plagues, Aber right? wie wir gelesen haben, die dritte Wehe ist, sind die sieben letzten Plagen. She parallels, she says, trumpet after trumpet is to sound, right? Und sie setzt es parallel und sie sagt, Posaune nach Posaune soll ertönen. It's the beginning, right? Das ist der Anfang. Okay, so, go to Revelation 11. Gehen wir zur Offenbarung 11. Let's look at this point, verse 15. Schauen wir uns diesen Punkt an, Vers 15. And the seventh angel sounded, so this is the third war. Der siebte Engel posaunte, das ist also die dritte Wehe. And there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. And the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, 
and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. So, who's being punished here? Wer wird hier bestraft? Those that destroy the earth, right? Die 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 Erde His wrath, which is the seven last place, he's going to destroy those which destroy the earth. Sein Zorn, das ist die sieben letzten Plagen, und er wird diejenigen zerstören, die die Erde zerstören. Okay, we'll see that in a moment, right? Wir werden das gleich sehen. So, we read in this quote from six testimonies that the the four, that we read that, that when the seven last plagues, or should I say, when the four winds are loosed. There'll be such a scene of strife as no pen can picture, right? Ja, in Zitat von 6T haben wir gelesen, dass wenn die vier Wände gelöst werden, dann wird es solch eine ähm, Szene des Streites sein, wie kein Stift es beschreiben kann. And linked to that was the book of Joel, right? Und damit verbunden war das Buch Joel. So it says, rend your hearts and not your garments, right? Because of what's coming, right? Und es sagt, zerreißt eure Herzen und nicht eure Gewänder wegen dem, was kommt. Okay, so go to Joel, chapter 2. Gehen wir zu Joel 2. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh for his night hand. So what should it bring us to do? Also, was, so was uns führen, dass wir tun? Tremble, right? Dass wir erzittern. And the reason we're not trembling is because of this Laodicean condition that we have, right? Und der Grund, warum wir nicht zittern, ist wegen diesem Laodiceanischen Zustand, den wir haben. Okay, it's, it says a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. Uh, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall there be any more after, even to the years of many generations. Now this is speaking about the destruction of Jerusalem. Right? Es über die von which will immediately be followed by the destruction of Babylon. Und sie wird durch die von Babylon. And it says, A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. So which, which entity is doing this also, in Joel? Welche Macht macht, äh, tut das in Joel? The Northern Army, right? Die nördliche Armee. Babylon, right? Babylon. So it says that Babylon, right, this who's going to destroy Jerusalem, is going to make the land a desolate wilderness, right? Das sagt Babylon, sie werden Jerusalem zerstören und sie werden das Land wie eine ähm, verwüstete Wüste machen. Okay. So it was the it was the Garden of Eden prior to that, right? Das war davor der Garten Eden. Okay, Ukraine is the breadbasket of the world, right? Und Ukraine is der Brotkorb der Welt. Okay, so it says that when the day of the Lord comes, this is when Babylon brings this terrible punishment on Jerusalem. It says it's going to be a desolate wilderness. Also right. es sagt, am Tag des Herrn, wenn Babylon die, ähm, diese Zerstörung über Jerusalem bringen wird, dann wird es wie eine verwüstete Wüste sein. Okay. Something is going to be so shocking, right? Etwas, was so schockierend sein wird. When Jerusalem was destroyed, what does it say in the Bible? How happen? Als Jerusalem zerstört wurde, was sagt es in der Bibel? Was okay. wurde da geschehen? Yes, that was an obscure question, but Margaret, you were with. Every year is going to tingle, right? Jedes Ohr wird gellen. Right? Every ear means the whole world is going to sit up and look at this thing and go, oh my Lord, what just happened there, right? Also jedes Ohr, also die ganze Welt wird aufrecht, sich aufrecht hinsetzen und sehen, um, oh, was ist da eben geschehen. Okay. So, go now to when these seven angels begin to pour out. Verse, uh, Revelation 8 and verse 6. Gehen wir zu den, ähm, wenn diese sieben Engel ausgegossen werden, ähm, gehen wir zu Offenbarung 8, Vers 6. And the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. Now remember, trumpet after trumpet is to sound, right? Denkt daran, Posaune nach Posaune soll er tun. Okay, it's verse 7. Vers 7. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the earth, and the third part of trees was burned up, and all green grass was burned up. Now, 
And the, what I want you to see is these first four trumpets, which is the nations or the barbarians in history. Was ich euch sehen lassen möchte, ist, dass diese ersten vier Posaunen, was die Nationen sind oder in der Geschichte die Barbaren. Right, are the four winds. Sie sind die vier Winde. And they're all blowing at the same time. Und sie wehen alle zur selben Zeit. Okay, because I want you to see that this is an illustration of the four winds being loosed. Ich möchte euch sehen lassen, dass das eine Darstellung ist von den vier Winden, die gelöst werden. Okay, now remember, the command was, hurt not the earth, the sea, nor the trees, right? Denkt daran, dass der Befehl war, schädigt nicht ähm, die Erde, noch das Meer, noch die Bäume. And in Revelation 9:4 it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any tree. Right? So they hurt not the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees, nor the grass. Right? They're all symbols, right? So here, right? Verse 7. The first angel sounded and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood and they were cast upon the earth and the third part of trees was burnt up and all green grass was burnt up. So now we see those things that they were commanded not to hurt being hurt, right? Sehen wir, dass all die Dinge wo ihnen befohlen wurde, dass sie es nicht schädigen sollen, das schädigen sie jetzt. And this is the work of Satan, right? Das ist das Werk Satans. And Satan works through his agents, Und right? Satan wirkt durch seine Agenten. Right, and his agents is radical Islam and these children of the flesh, und right? These, the nations. Seine Agenten ist der radikale Islam und diese Kinder des Fleisches, also die Nationen. Okay, and the, the, when we say the nations here, we mean those um, we're referring to those radical leftists, right, who really don't have no interest in in God or or the Bible. Right? Und wenn wir die Nation sagen, dann meinen wir diese ähm, radikalen Linken, die kein also die keine Interesse an Gott oder der Bibel haben. Okay, so we see the third part of the trees was burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. So. What was the percentage that was burnt up? Also, welche Prozentzahl wurde verbrannt? A third part, Ein right? Dritter Teil. Okay, keep that in your mind, right? Haltet das in eurem Verstand. Okay, so when we go to Luke 21, verse 29. Wir zu Lukas 21, Vers 29. It says, he spake to them a parable, Behold the fig tree and all the trees. So, what are trees likened unto according to this verse? Mit was werden Bäume verglichen gemäß diesem Vers? Okay. This, okay, that's not a, a it, it is partly right, but not wholly accurate. A, here, the fig tree, who is the fig tree? Also, Gottes Volk, aber das ist teilweise richtig, aber nicht ganz, denn, weil hier sagt es dieser Feigenbaum, wer ist der Feigenbaum? Okay. It's the Jewish nation, it's a nation, that's the point, right? Nation, the Jewish nation. It's, 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 a, it's not one person, it's a group of people, it's a nation, right? It's not one person, but a group of people, a nation. So if the fig tree is the Jewish nation, who are all the trees? When the fig tree is the Jewish nation, who are all the other trees? Nations. Nations, right? Nation. We can confirm that in Isaiah chapter 2, right? It says mountains and trees are the same thing, right? Das können wir bestätigen in Jesaja 2, da sagt es, Berge und Bäume sind dasselbe. Right? But when you go to Mark chapter 8 and verse 24, Wenn wir zu Markus 8, Vers 24 gehen, Everyone is a great tree. The Syria is a great tree. It's just easy to see this. Yes, we, we, we're familiar with this. It's not something we're teaching here. This is something that okay. should be in our minds, right? Babylon and Assyrian is also this big tree. And with these things we are familiar. It's not something new that we are learning. Okay. At verse 24 it says, And he, he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. So what are trees likened unto here? Also with what are here bäume verglichen? As men, right? Okay, and we have this principle that God's dealing with men and nations 
is the same, right? Wir haben hier dieses Prinzip, dass Gottes Handeln mit Men Menschen, also Einzelpersonen und Nationen, ist dasselbe. Okay, and when Sister White mentions that, she mentions Daniel chapter 2, the statue, right? Und wenn ein White das erwähnt, dann erwähnt sie Daniel 2, die Statue. And she parallels it to Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel chapter 4. Und sie setzt es parallel mit Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel 4. The tree, right? Im Baum. So, the statue is a man, right? Also die Statue ist ein Mensch. But the statue represents nations. Und die Statue right? stellt Nationen dar. Okay, man and nations, right? Menschen und Nationen. So this punishment, when the, the trees are being punished, it's men and nations being punished, right? Also diese Bestrafung, wenn ähm, die Bäume bestraft werden, dann ist es, dass Nationen und Menschen bestraft werden. Yes? Yeah. Okay. And then in 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 24. Petrus 1, Vers 24. It says for all flesh is as grass and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth and the flower thereof falleth away. Right? So just the Bible explains it when you go back to Revelation 8 and verse 7. Die Bibel erklärt, dass wenn wir nochmal zurück zu Offenbarung 8, Vers 7 gehen. The first angel sounded and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood and they were cast upon the earth and the third part of trees was burnt up and all green grass was burnt up. Right? M men, nations, right? Menschen are being punished. Und Nationen werden bestraft. Okay. So go to now the... Revelation 8 in verse 8. Gehen wir zur Offenbarung 8, Vers 8. It says, And the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. How much? Wie viel? A third part. Ein dritter Teil. Okay. <coughs> so, human beings, in our mind, we would be saying, oh, that's two thirds now, right? Also menschliche Wesen in unserem Verstand, wir würden jetzt sagen, ah, das sind jetzt zwei Drittel. Okay, so, um, so a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. And what are ships, what do ships represent? We looked at this yesterday, right? What are, what are ships? Was stellen Schiffe da? Merchants. Yeah, the, the merchants, right? The, the economy of the world, right? Die Handeltreiber, also die Wirtschaft der Welt. Okay, we will we'll see this a, a little bit as we go on, right? Wir werden das gleich sehen, wenn wir weiterlesen. So, when we go to Jeremiah 51, Gehen wir zu Jeremiah 51, just confirms what Joel is saying, right? Das bestätigt, was Joel sagt. Because remember, When, when the Lord loses the four winds, he's punishing those that destroyed the earth, right? Denk daran, wenn der Herr ähm, diese vier Winde löst, dann bestraft er diejenigen, die die Erde zerstören. Okay, and we read in Joel that he's going to make Jerusalem, right, a desolate wilderness. Und in right? Joel haben wir gelesen, dass er Jerusalem eine verwüstete Wüste machen wird. Okay, so... In Jeremiah 51, verse 24. Jeremiah 51, verse 24. It says, And I will render unto Babylon, the king of the north, and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea, all their evil that they have done in Zion, in your sight, saith the Lord. Right? So this king of the north made Zion a Desolate wilderness, right? Also dieser König des Nordens hat Zion eine verwüstete Wüste gemacht. So, he's now going to punish Babylon, right? Er wird jetzt Babylon bestrafen. So it says, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. What sort of mountain is it? Was für eine Art Berg ist das? Right? Which destroyest all the earth. Ein zerstörerischer Berg, der die ganze Erde zerstört. So we read, when the four winds are loose, the Lord is going to destroy those That destroyed the earth, right? Wir haben gelesen, wenn die vier Winde gelöst werden, wird der Herr diejenigen zerstören, die die Erde zerstören. So Babylon makes the land a desolate wilderness, and now the Lord is going to destroy this mountain, Babylon, also, right? Babylon macht ähm, das Land eine verwüstete Wüste, und jetzt wird der Herr ähm, diesen, also 
ähm, Babylon eben zerstören. Right, he says, and I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and make thee a burnt mountain. What sort of mountain? Was für eine Art Berg? A burnt mountain. Ein verbrannter Berg. So we read in Revelation 8, 8, right? When the second angel sounds, it says a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. Right? Wir haben in Offenbarung 8, Vers 8 gelesen, ein großer Berg, der mit Feuer brennt, wurde ins Meer geworfen. So it's Babylon that's being punished, right? Das ist Babylon, der bestraft. And if we read bestraft. Revelation 18, which is the punishment on Babylon, wenn wir Offenbarung 18 lesen, was die Bestrafung auf Babylon ist, in Vers 21, in Vers 21, it says a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea saying thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. So Babylon is a burning mountain, right? Also Babylon is a brennender Berg. Where is it being cast into? Wohin wird es geworfen? Into the sea. In das Meer. So it's a fulfillment of the second trumpet, right? Das ist eine Erfüllung der zweiten Posaune. Right? Ja. Richtig. Okay. And if we go to uh, Matthew 17, Gehen wir zu Matthäus 17, Verses 19 and 20. Verse 19 bis 20. It says, Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? What were they trying to do? Was haben sie versucht zu tun? Cast out demons, right? Dämonen auszutreiben. Right. And Christ told them, right, this sword has to be cast out by which means? Und Christus hat ihnen gesagt, diese Art ähm, kann nur durch was herausgetrieben werden. Okay, so it can only be cast out by fasting and praying. So what's it referring to? Also es kann nur durch Fasten und Beten ausgetrieben werden. Deswegen auf was bezieht What's it referring to? Akio, come on. Line upon line. Where is the fasting and praying taking place? Wo findet das Fasten und Beten statt? Anybody? Yeah, the, right. This can all, the demon can only be cast out by doing this work, right? Seufzen und klagen. Also der Dämon kann nur ausgetrieben werden, indem man dieses Werk tut. That's where you're fasting, weeping, sighing and crying, right? Das ist, wo du fastest und ähm, seufzt und weinst und klagst. So it says, Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast them out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Wegen eures Unglaubens. Right? And it warns us about our evil hearts of unbelief. If ye shall not believe, ye shall not be established. Right? Wenn ihr nicht glaubt, werdet ihr nicht etabliert werden. For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say to this what? Mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible to you, right? But let's go to Luke 17, this mentioning the same thing. Gehen wir zu Lukas 17, da erwähnt es dasselbe. It says in the, verse 6, And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye might say to this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea. So if you put them line upon line together, what do you have? Wenn man das Linie auf Linie zusammenbringt, was hat man? No, I'm talking about these two. Ich spreche über diese zwei Sachen. Why? The mountain is the second trumpet. The tree was in the first. It's the same. Well, the trees is the nations, but the tree, it's... Okay, I, I, okay, I get your point. But Babylon itself is likened unto a tree. And it's speaking about Babylon here, right? Also Babylon selbst wird mit einem Baum verglichen und hier spricht es hier über Babylon. The point I want you to see is the mountain is this sycamine tree. The point is, um, dieser Berg hier, das ist dieser Maulbeerbaum. And where will the mountain be removed into? Und wohin wird dieser Berg entfernt werden? into the sea, right? In das Meer. Okay. So, and when you go to Isaiah 9 and verse 10, und wenn wir zu Jesaja 9, Vers 10 gehen, 
At 9/11, this was what they said, right? Das war am 11. September, als sie das gesagt haben. When those buildings got brought down. Right? Als diese Gebäude niedergebracht wurden. So this says the bricks are fallen down, but we will build with hewn stones. The sycamores are cut down, but we will change them into cedars, right? The sycamine and the sycamore, it's the same thing. Also, das ist eben dieser Maulbeerfeigenbaum. No, 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 just, I'm just saying that it says sycamore here and it says sycamine there. I'm saying sycamine and sycamore is the same thing. Yes, but in the German, I don't know how it's the same thing. Malbefeigenbaum. Say it's the same term. Malbefeigenbaum. Yeah, just, but Luke 17,6 and Isaiah 9,10 are referring to the same thing. That's what I'm saying. Lukas 17, Vers 6 und Jesaja 9, Vers 10 bezieht sich auf dasselbe, auf diesen Malbefeigenbaum. Right, okay. Yeah, anyway. Right, so this is what they used to refer to those buildings in New York that came tumbling down, right? Und das ist, was sie benutzt haben, um auf die Gebäude in New York sich zu beziehen, als sie herunterkamen. Okay, so um, go to the third angel, right? <laughs> Gehen wir zum dritten Engel. So Revelation 8 and verse 10. Offenbarung 8, Vers 10. It says, And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. Right? So, again, it says uh, there's a third part here punished, right? So that would mean that all of Babylon is now destroyed, right? Third part, a third part, a third part, right? Everybody's nodding their head, right? Because, no, it's not so, but we'll see in a minute, right? Nein, das ist nicht so. Wir werden das gleich sehen. Okay, so, um, so this great star falls from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, right? Also, dieser große Stern fällt vom Himmel und er brennt wie eine Lampe. Okay, firstly, what's a star represent in the Bible? Zuallererst, was stellt ein Stern in der Bibel dar? An angel, ein right? Engel. So it's an angel falling from heaven, right? Es ist ein Engel, der vom Himmel fällt. Burning as it were a lamp. Und er brennt wie eine Lampe. Okay, we're familiar with this. Go to Ezekiel 1 and verse 13. Wir sind damit vertraut. Gehen wir zu Ezekiel 1 und Vers 13. It says, As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals. Now when Christ cast down the censer, what's he casting down? Wenn Christus das Räuchergefäß runterwirft, was wirft er runter? Burning coals, right? Brande Kohl. And like the appearance of lamps, right? It went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. So it's three things here. Burning coals, right? Um, it's appearance of a lamp, and it went forth like lightning, right? So drei Dinge hier. Brände, Kohlen. Ähm, wie die Erscheinung von Lampen und das ging aus wie ein Blitz. Okay, and if we go to Luke 10 and verse 18. Gehen wir zu Lukas 10 und Vers 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Right? Okay, so who's it, who is this, who is this uh, burning the star from heaven falling as a burning lamp. It's Satan, right? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Right? And what had he done? Yeah, he'd been laying the city's waste, right? Okay. Uh, so, and it, okay, when he falls, it says, it says, There fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters, and the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood. So where does he fall onto? Also, was fällt er? 
the waters, right? Und die Wasser. In verse, Revelation 17 and verse 15. Offenbarung 17 und Vers 15. It says, and he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So again, he's falling upon the, the earth, the nations, right? Wieder fällt er auf die Erde, die Nation. Which is the waters. Was die Wasser sind. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Now go to the fourth angel, Revelation 8 and verse 12. Gehen wir zum vierten Engel, Offenbarung 8 und Vers 12. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten. Now what's the problem? Was ist jetzt das Problem? Four thirds. Right, there's no such thing, right? Es gibt keine vier Dritte. So it's, what I want us to understand, it's only one third, Und right? Was ich euch zu verstehen lassen möchte, ist, dass es eben nur um, ein Drittel gibt. Because each one of these four things is one punishment, right? Weil jedes einzelne von diesen vier Dingen ist eine Bestrafung. And when that punishment comes, a third part of Babylon is punished. Und wenn right? diese Bestrafung kommt, dann wird ein dritter Teil von Babylon bestraft. Okay, so it says, the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars. So as the third part of them was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it. Now, what was this mark in, in history? Und was hat das in der Geschichte markiert? Yeah, the, the three form, th three forms of the Roman government falls, right? Also der Fall des dreifältigen <coughs> Regierungssystems von Rom fällt. Okay, and um, if you go to Isaiah 13, Jesaja 13, Vers 9. Vers 9, this is the punishment on Babylon, right? Das ist die Bestrafung auf Babylon. Which is Rome. Und das ist Rome. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. What do we read here? Was lesen wir hier? What did we read in Revelation 8 and verse 12? Was haben wir in Offenbarung 8 und Vers 12 gelesen? The what, sorry? Okay, what, what is it we read? What's the same thing? Was haben wir gelesen? Okay, the, the sun, moon and stars would be darkened, right? Sonne, Mond und Sterne würden verdunkelt werden. Yes? Because remember, when you come to here, what shakes? Weil denkt daran, wenn man hier hinkommt, was wird erschüttert? Right. Sun, moon and stars, right? Himmel und Erde, Sonne, Mond und Sterne. And there's a, there's a punishment that takes place right there, he says, it is done, right? Das ist eine Bestrafung, die dort stattfindet und er sagt, es ist geschehen. And I want us to understand that this is the punishment internally on those false shepherds. Ich möchte, dass wir verstehen, dass es die Bestrafung intern ist auf diese falschen Hirten. Remember, the threefold union internally comes for Christ. Und denkt daran, diese dreifältige Union intern, sie kommt. But here, at the end, it's happening again. The sun, moon, and stars are darkened, right? Here, am Ende geschieht das noch mal. Sonne, Mond und Sterne werden verdunkelt. Okay, Isaiah 13, verse 11. Jesaja 13, Vers 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, and I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth, shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. So this shaking of the heavens and the earth is marking the day of the Lord when he is here at the end. Right? And it's a punishment on Babylon, right? Because they destroyed the earth. Weil right. sie haben die Erde zerstört. And now he's going to lay the land desolate, he says. Jetzt wird er das Land verwüsten, sagt er. Okay. So, so what I want us to see is, every time it says a third part, it's because it's just bring it together line upon line, it's a third part, right? Also, was ich euch sehen lassen möchte, ist, jedes Mal, wenn es sagt, ein dritter Teil, dann muss man das Linie auf Linie zusammenbringen und das, das ist eins, also es ist... Ein dritter Teil. Okay, so we can see this. Go to Revelation 12. Und wir können das sehen, wenn wir zur Offenbarung 12 gehen. Verse 3. Vers 3. 
It doesn't mean that it's just the third part, but it's referring to whole wicket, right? Yeah, yes, but we'll let the, just the Bible explain itself here, right? Wir lassen die Bibel jetzt hier das erklären. Okay, it says Revelation 12 and verse 3. Offenbarung 12, Vers 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. This is Satan, right? This is Satan. But it's the, in, in a prophetic sense, it's the civil powers, but it's also marking this war in heaven that took place in the beginning, right? In prophetischen Sinne um, sind das die, ist das die Staatsmacht, aber es uh, bezieht sich auch auf diesen um, Krieg, der im Himmel stattgefunden hat. R right? So it says, there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. So in the beginning, what happened in heaven? Also am Anfang, was geschah im Himmel? The third part was what fell from heaven, right? Ein dritter Teil war, was vom Himmel fiel. So, Revelation 8 is just referring back to this fall that took place in heaven in the beginning, right? Also, Offenbarung 8, das bezieht sich, ähm, auf diesen, ähm, bezieht sich zurück auf den Fall, was am Anfang im Himmel geschah. Where all the rebellious angels fell from heaven, right? Weil die rebellischen Engel vom Himmel gefallen sind. So, the third part is a, 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 a symbol for all the wicked that don't repent, right? Also, der dritte Teil, das ist ein Symbol für die Bösen, für all die Bösen, die nicht Buße tun. Okay, so just, when, you, when each, each time the trumpet blows, these first four times, it says a third part, a third part, a third part, a third part. It's one thing, right? Also, jedes, also was es da sagt, jedes Mal, wenn eine Posaune ähm, bläst, dann sagt es ein dritter Teil, ähm, ein dritter Teil, ein dritter Teil, ein dritter Teil, dann bezieht sich das alles auf ähm, das Set. Auf das Same Set. All the same thing. Yeah, das bezieht sich alles auf. Das ist alles dasselbe. And so, Revelation 12, 4. Just let's read it again. Offenbarung 12, Vers 4. Lesen wir das nochmal. It says, And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did what? Cast them to the earth. Er hat es auf die Erde geworfen. Right. Now, let's read Revelation 8 and verse 5. Lesen wir Offenbarung 8, Vers 5. Because his tail was his lies and his deception, right? Sein Schwanz, das waren die Lügen, seine Verführungen. But who was it that cast them out of heaven? Aber wer war es, der sie aus dem Himmel geworfen hat? Was Christ, das right? Das war Christus. And in Revelation 8 and verse 5, you have Christ. Auf Baum 8, Vers 5, da hat man Christus. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it unto the, into the earth, right? Same illustration, right? Selbe Darstellung. It's Satan and all his angels that... And who is Satan and his angels? Das ist Satan und all seine Engel. Und wer, wer ist Satan und seine It's Engel? Gog and Magog, es right? Es ist Gog und Magog. Root and branch. Wurzel und Zweig. Right? So this is speaking about the punishment on Gog and Magog. Das right? spricht also über die Bestrafung auf Gog und Magog. Because Gog and Magog comes up and punishes, destroys Jerusalem, and then he gets destroyed. Right? Okay. So, let's look at that punishment. Go to Ezekiel 27. And verse 26. Thy roars have brought thee into great waters. The east wind hath broken thee in the midst of the seas. And this is speaking about Tyre, right? Das spricht über Tyrus. Who is Tyre? Wer ist Tyrus? The papacy, das right? Papstum. Because it says in Ezekiel 28 and verse 8, das sagt in Ezekiel 28, Vers 8, They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Wilt thou yet say before him that slay thee, I am God, but thou shalt be a man and no God in the hand of him that slayeth thee. This is nine. So this is speaking about Satan, right? And or the agents that he uses, right? Spricht über Satan oder diese Agenten, die er benutzt. 
claiming to be God when he's really a man. Right? Er behauptet Gott zu sein, wenn er in Wirklichkeit ein Mensch ist. Okay. So, and when we go to Ezekiel 27 verse 32. Wenn wir zu Ezekiel 27 vers 32 gehen. So, the east wind is going to punish Tyre in the midst of the seas, right? Der Ostwind wird Tyrus inmitten der Meere bestrafen. But in verse 32 it says. Vers 32 sagt es. And in their wailing they shall take up a lamentation for thee and lament over thee, saying, What city is like Tyrus, the destroyed in the midst of the seas? How is Tyrus now? Wie ist Tyrus jetzt? Destroyed. Sie ist zerstört. Because the Lord says, I will destroy them that destroy the Earth, right? Weil der Herr sagt, ich werde diejenigen zerstören, die die Erde zerstören. Okay. When thy wares went forth out of the seas, thou fillest many people, thou did enrich the kings of the earth with the multitude of thy riches and of thy merchandise. In the time when thou shalt be broken by the seas, in the depths of the waters, thy merchandise and all thy company in the midst of thee shall fall. Who does it say is going to break them here in verse 34? Wer sagt, es wird sie brechen oder zerstören in Vers 34? The seas, the nations. Die Nationen. Right? That's these first four plagues here. Or first four trumpets. Die ersten vier Posaunen. Okay. And we just read Revelation 18, verse 18. Lesen wir noch Offenbarung 18, Vers 18. It says the same thing. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? Right? So Ezekiel 27 is Revelation 18. Right? It's the punishment on Babylon. Okay. So last quote. That's a citat. It says, now comes the word that I have declared that New York is to be swept away by a tidal wave. This I have never said. I have said as I looked at the great buildings going up their story after story. What terrible scenes will take place when the Lord shall arise to shake terribly the earth. Then the words of Revelation 18, 1 to 3 will be fulfilled. Now, when he shakes terribly the earth, it's taken from Isaiah chapter 2, right? When er die Erde just, schrecklich let's turn there and just see. erschüttert, ist das von Jesaja 2 entnommen. Gehen wir dahin. Just let's begin in verse 2. Jesaja 2 und fangen wir in Vers 2 an. It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be what? established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. Why are they established? Warum werden sie etabliert? Yes, because they believed the prophets, Weil right? Weil sie den Propheten geglaubt haben. Okay. So, and this is marking a point where all nations are going to go to the whole world, right? Und das markiert den Punkt, wenn alle Nationen, sie kommen von der ganzen Welt. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. And we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Okay? And verse 4 it says, And he shall judge among the nations, and they shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword, Against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. So what's what's it marking? What's marked is time of peace, Zeit right? Des so when this is marking when God's people are established, right? What's marked is when God's people are established. Okay, go to verse 12. In the to verse 12. It says, For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon every one that is proud and lofty, and upon every one that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low, and upon all the what? Cedars, the trees, right? den, um, den Bäumen. of Lebanon, that are high and lifted up, and upon all the oaks of Bashan, and upon all the high mountains, and upon all the hills that are lifted up, and upon every high tower, and upon every fenced wall, right? And if you just go to verse, um, verse 19. Wir zu Vers 19, and they shall go into the holes of the rocks, and into the caves of the earth, 
for the fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. Right? They will flee from his presence, right? In the Aufstieg, um the Erde schrecklich zu erschüttern, da werden sie vor seiner Gegenwart fliehen. Okay, so it's marking when he pours out the seven last plagues. Also right? es markiert, wenn er die sieben letzten Plagen auslöst. So go back to this quote. Gehen wir zurück zu dem Zitat. Just reread it. It says. Wir lesen es noch mal. Now comes the word that I have declared that New York is to be swept away by a tidal wave. This I have never said. I have said as I looked at the great buildings going up their story after story. What terrible scenes will take place when the Lord shall arise to shake terribly the earth? Then the words of Revelation 18, 1 to 3 will be fulfilled. And Revelation 18 is Ezekiel 27. And of morning 18 is Ezekiel 27. The whole of the 18th chapter of Revelation is a warning of what is coming on the earth. But I have no light in particular in regard to what is coming on New York. Only I know that one day the great buildings there will be thrown down by the turning and overturning of God's power. So what's going to happen? Was wird geschehen? Buildings, cities, right? Gebäude, Städte. I'm going to destroy him that destroyed the earth, right? Diejenigen zerstören, die die Erde zerstören. What did he do? Was hat er getan? He destroyed the cities and he laid the land desolate. Right? Er hat die Städte zerstört und das Land verwüstet. So what's going to come upon him? Was wird auf ihn kommen? The same, right? Dasselbe. I know that one day the great buildings there will be thrown down by the turning and overturning of God's power. From the light given me, I know that destruction is in the world. One word from the Lord, one touch of his mighty power, and these massive structures will fall. Scenes will take place, the fearfulness of which we cannot imagine. Where did we read that? Wo haben wir das gelesen? When the four winds are loosed, there will be... Such a scene of strife as no pen can picture. Wenn die vier Winde gelöst werden, dann wird es solch eine Szene des Streites sein, wie kein Stift beschreiben kann. Always see that these four trumpets and the third war together are these two punishments, right? Wir können das immer sehen. Also diese vier ähm, ersten Posaunen und diese dritte Wehe, das ist ähm, diese, also das sind diese Bestrafungen. Okay. Ja, diese ähm, zwei Bestrafungen, die zusammenkommen. Okay, because he's the God that demonstrates the end by the beginning, right? Weil er ist der Gott, der das Ende von Anfang an darstellt. Okay, the last point, Revelation 8 and verse 13. Letzter Punkt, Offenbarung 8, Vers 13. Because as soon as those four uh, trumpets are blown, this is what says next, verse also, 13. Und sobald diese vier Posaunen beim Blatt, also ertönen, sagt es das als nächstes in Offenbarung 8, Vers 13. And I beheld... And heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice. Now, which angel flies through the midst of heaven with a loud voice? Welcher Engel fliegt durch die Mitte des Himmels mit einer lauten Stimme? The first angel, right? Der erste Engel. The first angel, okay, in August 11th, 1840s, where the first angel's message went forward with great power, right? Und am 11. August 1840, da ging der erste Engel vorwärts mit großer Kraft. It's a parallel to 9-11, right? Okay, it says, I beheld an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by the reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound. Right? So, where do the, where do the three other trumpets begin? Right here. Gerade here. So there you've got an, another witness to show you that when you come to the end, the four trumpets pour out because this is the beginning of the three wars, right? Or the, or the fifth, sixth and seventh trumpets, right? Da hat man einen weiteren Zeugen, dass wenn man hier an das Ende kommt und ähm, die ersten vier Posaunen ähm, ertönen, dann ähm, hat, fangen auch hier diese drei Wehen an, was die fünfte und so this angel is sounding once those first four trumpets have blown, right? Also dieser Engel ertönt, sobald diese ersten ähm, vier Posaunen geblasen wurden. And if this is the beginning of the fifth, sixth and seventh trumpets, then where are the four winds all blowing? 
Und wenn das Four Trumpets all sounding, should I say. Wenn das der Anfang ist der fünften, sechsten und siebten Posaune, wo ähm, werden wo ähm, ertönen dann diese ersten vier Posaunen? Right there, right? Genau dort. Comes to the end, all four trumpets are loosed, right? And now marks wo wo wo. It's going to lead you down again to the end, right? Ja, kommt zum Ende und diese vier ähm, Posaunen sind jetzt gelöst und dann sagt er aber wehe, wehe, wehe und das führt uns dann bis zum Ende. First of all, we paint the Sunday ball, right? E yes, but it doesn't matter, the fifth trumpet begins here, right? Also die erste Wehe wäre dann hier im Sonntagsgesetz, aber das macht nichts, weil die fünfte Posaune fängt ja hier an. Right? Richtig. Simple, it's allowing the Bible to explain itself, right? Das ist ganz einfach, wir erlauben der Bibel, dass sie sich selbst erklärt. Okay. So we can be we can be sure about the more sure word of prophecy, right? Wir können uns sicher sein über das ähm ja, sicherere Wort der Prophetie. And if we really believe, we will do this work, right? Wenn wir das wirklich glauben, werden wir dieses Werk tun. And if we hold fast their belief, we will be established. Right there, right? Wenn wir festhalten an unserem Glauben, werden wir hier etabliert werden. Okay, in all the nations Shall begin to come, right? Und all die Nationen werden anfangen zu kommen. Because it's what God needs—a people that can predict what's going to come to pass before it comes to pass, right? Weil der, das braucht der Herr. Er braucht ein Volk, was vorhersagen kann, was geschehen wird, bevor es geschieht. That's how the Lord will finish this work. So right? wird der Herr das Werk vollenden. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's move. Lass uns das Gebet abschließen. Vater, ich danke dir sehr, dass du uns all die Details erklärst. Und ich bete, dass du uns auch hilfst, all diese Dinge in unserem Verstand zu behalten. Und ich bete auch, dass du uns an diesem Tag hilfst, ein heiliges Leben für dich zu führen. Being holy and becoming holy, we cannot see your kingdom. Weil du sagst, ohne dass wir heilig sind und heilig werden, können wir dein Königreich nicht sehen. And so I pray that you will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Und so bete ich, dass du uns hilfst. In Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen.